हेलो एवरीबॉडी नमस्कार सदगुरु माय नेम इज हिया एंड आई एम अ फर्स्ट ईयर स्टूडेंट हियर स्टार्टिंग इन द एरोस्पेस डिपार्टमेंट बीइंग अ कॉलेज स्टूडेंट वी लिव इन डॉम्स एंड हॉस्टल्स एंड वी सराउंडेड बाय पीपल डे इन एंड डे आउट एंड विद पीपल कम्स ओपिनियंस एंड आइडियाज so for instance let's say i got i got up in the morning and i got ready for class and i'm about to leave and one of my friends joins me and she casually comments that your hair doesn't look very good today like what's wrong with it so some of us are of the type that we will rush back to our rooms and just fix it somehow might mean that, that might even mean that we are late for class uh, but let's say i didn't even do that let's say i didn't even do that but that thing would keep going in my mind like throughout i would be in the class but i'll be thinking about my hair so it is <laughs> others opinions and ideas have a very deep effect on, although although it varies from person to person the amount of effect it has but how do we take the good out of it and still not lose our individuality and uh, uniqueness in the process now <laughs> in this world uh, more money probably 10 times or even 100 times more money is being spent on hair products than on the brain products <laughs> so it looks like a whole lot of people don't care what is inside they only care what is outside so uh, <clears throat> for those people who are in a certain state of their life where they need to intensely focus on something very intensely where they need undivided attention to achieve what they want to achieve normally we shave their heads you know <laughs> so that they don't have to stand in front of the mirror every day see i don't have to stand in front of the mirror every day i look the same so i don't have to check how am i looking today so when you are focused on something else certain things get less significance how we look is it important yes it is to some extent it is important in our lives but right now you are not going to walk the ramp you are going to the class okay <laughs> so all you have to do is bundle up your hair tie it up on top of your head so that they can't see your hair they can just see the knot and they can see the size of your head that's a good thing <laughs> it is not that one should not be concerned about their appearance of course it matters but where does it matter where does it not matter is something we have to decide if it matters too much everywhere i have seen people uh, about 27 times in a minute that <laughs> if you are adjusting your hair half the time in your life what the hell are you going to do of any significance I am not saying you should not have hair I am not saying you should not keep it well but if you are so concerned about your appearance obviously you're a bit empty inside there's some more stuff within you you wouldn't be so concerned about your appearance taking care of our appearance to a certain extent is important well if you are going into the films or you're a model or something you have to take care of it much more maybe but for an engineer if you are presentable it's fine huh? and sir so, um, <laughs> it's not it doesn't uh, end at the appearances it's about the general opinions of life and about ourselves let's say anything about us that they have that people have they somehow whatever kind this. of opinions maybe behavioral traits like somebody tells me uh, you speak very loudly maybe hmm? you speak very loudly all the time why do you mm-hmm. do that maybe i mean it hasn't happened with me i'm just giving an example so how do we take like it's a very casual comment i was about to tell you your comment. trousers are torn but i didn't tell you <laughs> <laughs> there was a time when i lived in denims nothing but denims okay only levis and because of motorcycling and all kinds of things they would get torn we had to get it from united states otherwise they were locally not available in 60s but so we used to patch it up but now people are tearing it up and then wearing it <laughs> so obviously obviously the message is you don't care a hoot what other people think about you 
Let that come into every aspect of your life, you don't really care what other people saying about it <laughs> That's the idea, isn't it? The idea of tearing up a new pant and walking is, you don't really care, but that's not the truth of the whole lot, whole lot of people. How is it toned? Your pant is toned better than mine <laughs> So we've gotten into this mess essentially because we have not delved into what this is. There is no profound experience of yourself. Who you are is a bundle of opinions that other people have given. You are… if ten people say you are good, you will become very good, it's like this. You went outside, somebody told you, oh, you are the most wonderful person on this planet. Then you are uh, floating on cloud number what? Nine. Only nine, huh? In Tamil Nadu, we do eleven. So you are floating on cloud number whatever, and you came home, they told you who you really are and suddenly it'll crash the cloud. Tch. Floating on a cloud is not a wise thing, you're bound to crash, isn't it? Hello? Floating on a cloud is not a safe thing to do, you are bound to crash. So, whatever this floating on cloud number whatever is not a good thing because somebody blows you up. As simple as it sounds, this means you have no judgment in your head, as to what is good, what is bad, what is high, what is low, what is virtue, what is sin, you're willing to look at life just for what it is. If you see life simply for what it is, you will effortlessly navigate through life, all these things will not even be an issue in your life.